Okay guys, Jay Browder Performance again. Another thing I want to show you on these, and this is something you got to be careful with. So what we got here, if you see this little retainer here, it's got a spring inside. And if you look in these two holes, there's a valve in there. And if you look on this side, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, the, it's kind of hard to get light in there. Well, there's a little, there's a little pin in here. And anyway, so what this is, this is the converter pressure relief valve. Okay, so 64 to 81 has this. When it became the C5, it doesn't have this anymore, if you happen to notice the difference between a C4 and C5 stator. What the C5 did, they didn't eliminate this, they moved it to the valve body. And um, what, you know, what I'm going to tell you here is, this is an option if you want to remove this system or not. And what you got to do is, you can't just remove it, but you have to block the valve from moving and that eliminates a converter pressure relief system and what that system does basically if you have restriction say the cooler plugs up or you know a line plugs up the oiling system plugs up uh, maybe the converter is not built all that well and conducive to oil flow and that tends to back up oil this will relieve the system and what this prevents is the converter from ballooning or and or the thrust surface on the crank from being worn out prematurely so it's a safety circuit not really a bad thing to leave in but sometimes if it's kind of a maximum effort race car kind of deal where I'm doing the torque converter, this is key. I want to do the torque converter on this build because I want to make sure we got good oil flow going through the converter. If you eliminate this and the torque converter doesn't allow oil to flow through it all that well, you know, most of them do, but I have seen some converters on the market where they don't allow oil to escape the converter like they should. I guess a lot of converter builders don't really understand the cooler and lube circuit and the transmission. So they don't really mill the appropriate slots and things in the converter to accommodate this. And some of them are even intentionally restricting it because they want a lot of pressure in the converter. They feel like, well, I want this to lock up and really couple well so the customer doesn't complain. and you know, thinks I'm a hero kind of thing, but we create other problems when we create restriction inside the converter, so this is a very tricky balancing act. So if you want to eliminate this, be careful. I'm going to tell you up front, you know, you can do it, and I do it in a lot of units personally, but Again, I, you know, usually something that's, you know, race car oriented and I built the converter. And I just pray that the cooler doesn't clog up and things like that. So, but these are, you know, race vehicles that are usually serviced pretty often and things like that. So, uh, so the way, easy way to eliminate this is you just basically, this here, um, this little clip here, you can just stick a, anything in there and I just, real easy, I just pop it out. Here's the spring. So what you do, and I won't take the time for you to watch this, it's not really necessary, but you're going to tap this with a 3 8 16 tap all the way and then you can throw a... Um, a check ball in there because your tap isn't going to thread all the way to the bottom okay so you need to throw a spacer of some sort in there it can be a smaller set screw that fits inside the bore or 
um, a check ball or two, whatever you got, get creative. And then you wind in a 3 8 16 set screw and tighten it nice and tight. And that keeps this valve in here just in place. It can no longer, hydraulic pressure can no longer push it out and vent through these holes. Uh, but again, I, you know, I want to stress that I'm not encouraging you to do this in every unit. It's something that, you know, you have to think about the symphony, if you will. Everything, everything has to work together. So just doing this, not knowing what your converter is or maybe even what the cooler is and the application, you could actually do some harm by doing this. So just something to be aware of. Uh, but it will, it will get you more pressure in the converter and it will get you more oil flow in the cooling system and the lubrication system, which is all good things. But again, too much is sometimes too much. So just something you got to be careful with. But okay, there's another little tip for you. I probably confused you more than I helped you on that one, but I'm sorry about that. But you guys got to think for yourself sometimes. So, okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you on another.